little fewer than 120 Nigerian scholars are currently running their master's and PhD programs in Brazil with a view to understudying their agricultural revolution policy and its impact on national economy. The scholars are being sponsored by the Tertiary Education Trust Fund, TET Fund, in partnership with the Agricultural Research and Innovation Fellowship for Africa, ARIFA. The 120 Nigerian scholars currently running their master's and PhD programs in Brazil will be conferred fellows of ARIFA at the end of their studies. At a symposium where the Executive Secretary of TET Fund, architect Sonia Chono, participated, which held at the Federal University of Icosa, Brazil. The symposium's theme is Pedagogic Retooling Strategy for Africa's Agricultural Research and Innovation System, Lessons from Brazil, and aims to strengthen alignment, partnership and coordination among current ARIFA partners, FARA, UFV, TET Fund. The chief executive of TET Fund said the focus of the fund was leading the transformation of public tertiary institutions in the country to make them more relevant to addressing developmental challenges and improve their global ranking. According to Akisekta Chono, the fund would spend nothing to strengthen collaboration with the Federal University of Vicosa, Brazil, the Agricultural Research and Innovation Fellowship for Africa, ARIFA, and the Forum for Agricultural Research in Africa, FARA, to effectively deploy science and technology research in agriculture. So I want to challenge our scholars to do a number of things. First, that Third Fund has two windows, as you are aware. You are participating in one already, the academic staff training and development. So we sponsor scholars to acquire higher degrees. And just as Madame just said, it is not enough to get a PhD and decorate your office with it. When we talk about PhDs being research-based, I saw this slide earlier that talked about research for development, not even and development, research for development. I mentioned earlier that there's a template here already that in Brazil, for your PhD program, you are expected to have a patent to do something, even if it's just an improvement, an additive, or if it is a particular type of seed that will be resistant to pests, resistant to all sorts of fungi or whatever, that you should own something that you know is making practical impact, is solving a problem or addressing a challenge back home. And we have millions of them. We've heard a lot about the things that are wrong with our agriculture. Starting from identifying the applicable or suitable soil type for any type of crop. Planting the right type of seeds, the quality of our seeds, for example. Things that have direct impact on yield and productivity. We'll expect that in your areas of research, you should think about those incremental improvements that will translate to either efficiencies or improve yields and productivity. He said, to strengthen the relationship with UFV, Tetfund had sponsored people to Brazil to understudy its agricultural research and innovation and to gain knowledge on how to modernize Nigerian agriculture, especially through deployment of science and technology. Architect Chono, however, underscored the agricultural research and innovation impact of the Federal University of Bicosa to the community, expressed optimism that the partnership offer would allow Nigeria attain some level of self-reliance in innovation and technology. I was particularly impressed that this is a self-reliant society, and we can see at various communities the visible marks, the impact of research, of agri-production, the impact of the university community, uh, to the community and to the people in creating jobs, in promoting innovation, and providing goods and services for their immediate consumption. I believe it is a dream that we can also achieve in our country if we are able to produce scholars like you 
that are committed, dedicated, and are ready to do the hard work that is necessary to achieve this objective. I am told that for you to even graduate, to get a PhD in this country, you need to have a patient, which is fantastic, because I believe until we make our educational institutions relevant to our national development objectives in our country, we won't optimize the objectives for tertiary education. And that is why Ted Fund will be again redoubling this effort to see how we can accelerate the process, we can expand the collaboration, and we shall deepen this partnership in the years ahead. He also assured that Ted Fund will double its efforts in accelerating the use of science and technology deployed at the fund's centers of excellence and other relevant agencies in the country for rapid transformation. In a presentation, the Executive Director Forum for Agricultural Research in Africa, FARA, Dr. Yemi Akimbamijo, titled An Ambitious Attempt at Systemic Transformation of the Nigerian Agricultural Innovation System, Lessons from Brazil, he said Africa needs a critical mass of agricultural research for development practitioners to accelerate growth and development and food sufficiency. Dr. Akimba Mijo said FARA is working to ensure food security, incomes and jobs, increased resilience, improved natural resource management, increased agricultural productivity, improved agro-industry competitiveness and enhanced resilience to risks in Africa. The self-primary level of um, delivery in the pathway, which, leads, which are the three things about increasing productivity, improving competitiveness, and enhancing resilience. And we believe that if we achieve this primary level, we can impact on the ultimate goal of food security, which is, as you know, SDG numbers two, one and two, and number five, then income, incomes and jobs, increased resilience, and improved natural resource management. In a way, we contribute to the Sustainable Development Goals, we contribute to Agenda 2063, and also contribute to the STISA, the Science, Technology, and Innovation Strategy for Africa. Also speaking at the event, the Ambassador of Nigeria in Brazil, Professor Mohamed Ahmad Nakarfi, said the symposium and the partnership will benefit Nigeria's government as it meets President Mohamed Buhari's agenda on food security. The federal government of Nigeria has anchored its major priority objective on uh, food security. It's one of the pillars of it president government led by Pro uh, President Mohammed Bahari. And way back home, you know that the most important and critical issue that he has set out to tackle is the issue of food security. This is the very varieted platform on which this can be achieved. Uh, by learning and deploying science and technology to our agriculture, to our manufacturing activities, in various other fields and sectors, this transformation can be achieved. And that is why the administration has been foremost in making, taking all steps in order to curtail importation of food items. Our bill for food every year is in excess of $2 billion. In uh, wheat and rice alone, in wheat alone we, we import more than $685 million US dollars worth of food every year. In rice, we were importing more than 380 million US dollars of moods of rice. Today, as I tell you today, all these figures have come down, largely due to the efforts of the federal government's uh, drive to improve on food production and reduce the levels of uh, poverty among his people. And for this, we commend the uh, government of uh, Pre President Mohammed Buhari for the pyramids we have seen in rice and maize, which everyone has witnessed across the world. We have this effort and 
uh, particularly the deployment of agricultural research will further help us to enhance this performance, improve productivity, not only in rice and maize, but also in other sectors, in other commodities, as well as other sectors of the economy. Africa as a whole, and Nigeria in particular, will increasingly benefit from this initiative, especially as the continent continues to engage all actors in agriculture to connect, learn, and collaborate with each other as outlined in the plan of action and the respective efforts at strengthening the continent's agri-food system.